hey guys welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is oma and i run this channel <laughs> anywho based on the title of this video you already know why you're here you know that you want to you know that you need to elevate your life before the year ends you know that you need to get on your high horse get on your zoom and start to figure out why you aren't where you want to be and how you can see those changes in your life so i'm here to talk a little bit about five ways that you can elevate your life to become that girl that guy that man that woman that you want to be and actually break through your comfort zone to be able to achieve that lifestyle you have planned for yourself so to start i will give you five reasons why you aren't seeing the changes you want to see in your life and how you can identify or audit yourself to be able to identify if these five reasons uh, are similar to you you can let me know in the comments which of this resonates well with you which you find more relatable and what steps you are taking to make that improvement in your life so the first one is fear of success slash fear of failure of now this two they go hand in hand i say this because you can't talk about one without talking about the other and i think it's important to also note that these two are subjective so if you truly truly want to see change happen in your life it is so important that you have to get comfortable with the word called failure i find that we are often crippled by the thought of failing when honestly in reality it is part of the process it's part of the journey if you don't have those low moments in your life how can you now identify what the high moments are for yourself i say that this two um, factors are subjective because what you deem as failure to you may not be the same as what I, I describe as failure to me. I'll give an example. When we were back in school, like in primary school, uni, secondary school, we had a clear goal of what success looked like. It required us to be in school, to read our books, get right the right answers in our exams and our tests, and to actually um, show up with our assignments and make sure that we had like quantifiable evidence that we were doing well in school so what this now means is that we had a metric set up for us to determine how badly or how well we were doing um, but it's not the same case in life actually with life I find that it is much more important to define what success looks like for you and what kind of success you want to achieve i'll say that again it's important to define what success looks like for you because there is nobody else defining that metrics for you it's not like when we we're back in school and we had all the time to actually catch up with our assignments actually um, read our books to attend our exams we had um, a period of time set out for ourselves and if by the end of the year we're not able to get to like what 75 percent 85 percent then you would know if like you are truly doing well or if you need some refreshers or some lessons to actually catch up with what the curriculum is offering um with life it's a bit different it's different because you have to be able to not compare your journey with somebody else because in school it's more on a comparison basis um you have to be able to tell yourself that I will be able to celebrate my small wins. I'll be able to take this risk of starting a business, um, creating that account, uh, going into content creating, actually doing something out of your comfort zone, taking that risk and setting actionable metrics for yourself to determine the level that you are at. Um, one example that I definitely want to share would be how I measure my own level of success and failure. I actually tend to not look at my journey in terms of, oh, I have failed in this area or I have succeeded in this area. It's not directly black and white for me. And this has really helped 
me expand my own process of thinking and my own approach to what my own dreams and ideas are for example um if you follow me here on youtube you see that i have 48 subscribers as of today and for me that's a big deal it was a big deal two months ago but i want to elevate this channel i want to do better so i i'm ready to like get to a 50 subscriber to be able to celebrate this win i wouldn't count it as oh my goodness the year is almost over i don't have over 100 subscribers i have failed in my goal to actually grow my channel no i celebrate every milestone i achieve and i try to make it seem like there is this is the biggest i have gotten so far and it can only get better from here i'll give you for example my instagram you see that i have roughly 280 followers and my goal is to get it to 1000 followers just 1000 followers and because i haven't been able to do that by the year and doesn't mean that i'm just gonna fully scrap that plan and tell myself that i have failed um my goals for the year no it means that i am going to figure out how i can re-strategize and keep stepping out of my comfort zone and showing up for myself and being okay with where these what i considered high level or highlights in my life are now becoming low lights and just try to make it part of and try, and try to embrace it as part of the journey and not seeing it as i have failed to um, get to where i want to be so that's why well, number one the fear of failure and fear of success go hand in hand and you should consider looking at what success means to you and what failure means to you so number two now we have ding 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 commitment and discipline so this is almost like the biggest reason why we are not seeing marginal changes in our life especially if we've actually decided that we're going to take the risk and we're going to venture into that idea that business plan um that goal that you want to achieve we're going to actually start taking that risk and maybe we've said okay you know what i'm done being afraid to fail i'm don't be scared of what success would look like for me. I'm done with that and I actually want to move on to the next step. Then you have to now enter the level of I need to show up for myself consistently and I need to hold myself accountable to ensuring that I achieve these goals. So when it comes to commitment and discipline, you have to decide how you want to show up for yourself and what that would look like for you. Are you going to swap out your current routine or are you going to find a way to include the new idea that you have and you want to proceed with into your current routine? How does that look like for you? So with commitment and discipline, it's almost as if you'd have to become very creative with how you spend your time. Um, when you decide for example that oh my goodness one of my goals is that i want to um improve my physical health i want to become healthier than i was at the start of the year um when i compare it to the, to the end of the year um this means that i want to be physically active i want to become an active person and you're like setting that goal at the start of january and saying oh my goodness yeah i'm going to be able to do this but then two weeks have gone and maybe you've gone to the gym like maybe consistently the first week and then maybe you've been on and off the second week and they're just slowly falling off and you know you're falling off but then that little voice in your head is telling you oh my goodness you haven't gone to the gym i thought you said you're going to do this and you just kind of close that ear and say um i can't hear you please stop talking in my ears this is where the whole idea of commitment and discipline now come into play so just because you said i want to be physically active it doesn't mean that there's just one way to go about being physically active the creativity now comes from finding multiple ways to make this dream come true that could look like maybe going to the gym maybe going for a walk maybe going for a pilates class spin class yoga um going for a run it could come in different ways it's not just uh committing yourself to one particular way because 
now then when life brings a lot of changes for you how do you now adjust to those changes you have to be able to be flexible about what your commitment looks like um with commitment and discipline i think it's very important that you be adaptable to changes because if not if you are if you tend to be rigid then i'm so sorry when those changes come in life and you know you know that they are going to come because life keeps throwing at you all the chaos and all the good things i won't forget the good things but life keeps throwing at you so many things that you have to kind of stay ahead of of it and anticipate it so just because you cannot go to the gym five times a week to be able to achieve that goal doesn't mean that you cannot say okay i'm not able to go to the gym today because i finished late at work instead let me grab a jump rope and do some skipping maybe i can do a thousand skips today and call it a day at least i showed up being active today or i can go for a quick 30 minutes walk and stretch my legs and make sure i get some steps in it could be something as as little as that or maybe i could balance it out with what i eat it, it, it could be those little things that would cause you to actually see marginal changes within yourself especially when you set a goal um that you become very adaptable and, and less rigid with well i hope so far you're actually enjoying our little conversation here and you can take away a few of the things that i have said and it changes your life so if that's the case i hope you do subscribe and keep in touch with me through my comment sections my socials you can like this video share it to that your friend that you know would need this and we can continue to the next reasons why you are not elevating in your life and how to get there so number three is the comparison game and i tell you the comparison game is addictive especially with social media now like you can start off with someone maybe you went to uni with that person or you went to secondary school with that person and you both follow each other on your socials and you are maybe a similar age uh you're in like the same stage in life where you've left school and you're just figuring out life but then you open socials and you see oh my goodness like tina is doing so well um she travels a lot she um goes to a lot of bars um she's always looking her best she's always you know looking so good and stylish and her life just looks very soft um but for you you're already looking at your life like um what do i even have like you're just pointing out the negatives you're just pointing out the negatives in yourself and you are falling into that rabbit hole of um, my life is miserable and other people are doing better than me you if you want to elevate in your life especially once you have defined what your success looks like i promise you what other people are doing will not have an impact on you even though even though you both are venturing into the same thing like for example maybe i and i decided that I wanted to go into this content creating life and me and my friend decided that and maybe my friend is actually like thriving in this maybe she's doing so well that um i'm trying to figure out like what the heck like we started off at the same time or maybe she started off um, after me or whatever it is like you you are you are falling into that level of like you're not even appreciating the amount of effort that you're putting into the work that you are putting out oh my goodness when i tell you that things will start to go south for you it, it truly will and once you recognize that com you're comparing yourself and i'm not saying that everyone is perfect and we don't have times where we fall into that headspace i'm saying that you now need to figure out how to uplift yourself how to recognize your own achievement because you have defined what success looks like for you and how to big up yourself how to tell yourself like i'm so happy that tina is doing so well like i want to learn from her how to be inspired by um you, their work how to take that strategy and see if you can implement it into your own um idea like 
falling into that comparison game is only going to have you sitting around and looking for company to accompany your misery and if you're trying to elevate your life you do not need those qualities to be able to thrive it's honestly going to restrict you it's going to keep you in the same place and you're just going to, and you're just going to be going around and around and around in circles trying to understand why your life is not improving so please 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 <laughs> i'm nigerian so be cool stop it stop it stop playing those little little baby games like you know what success looks like for you if if success is that oh my goodness i want to have um i want to have 200 dollars okay god forbid I was going to say two hundred dollars by the end of the year, but God forbid. If I'm thinking bigger, <laughs> if maybe I'm just going to use um, content creating as an example. If by the end of the year you say I want to have two hundred followers extra to what I already have, or maybe I'm just starting off a new account and I want to have two hundred followers before the the month ends or the year ends, please keep that to yourself even if tina is on a thousand followers ask tina ask her like what are you doing like what am i doing wrong how can i get better ask questions don't be looking at tina like she's a bad person for also defining what success looks like for her and things actually going wrong for her so take that piece of advice and elevate your life and stop wallowing in your sorrows please so you've come this far to come this far so let's finish off strong okay this one is like the peak of why you're not elevating it's the peak of why you're not elevating and it is lack of self-confidence now this particular one has my brothers and sisters in a chokehold because they cannot fully believe in their abilities to be good at something ah let's digest that let's think about it how do you know that you lack self-confidence i'll give you one example of how i figured out that i was lacking self-confidence um, at the start of the year there are two ways i figured out that i was lacking self-confidence at the start of the year the first was when i ventured into the life of being a content creator I struggled with the idea that I would actually be reached out to by a brand and will actually be asked to come up with an idea or to shoot some content for a brand's product or whatever and actually deliver on that idea. The thought of it just generally would make my skin crawl, it would make my body shake, it would make my eyes roll back, everything that you can think of. That was the first time I actually realized that I lacked self-confidence in my ability to deliver good work. The second way was with when I would put out content, whether it was on my Instagram, TikTok, whatever social media app platform, even YouTube here, um, and I would get complimented, I would get compliments from people on my work. I literally would cringe. I would, I would physically, mentally, emotionally cringe at myself and I would cringe at the fact that somebody else has actually watched this content that I have put out and has found it somewhat entertaining, valuable, whatever, educative, and has come back to me with feedback on the level of content that I have put out. And I'm like, mm, I don't know about it. I'm shy. I'm not even like embracing the fact that somebody actually found my work valuable in some way i'm not excited i'm just more of wanting to shrink into the gutter like that's how i realized that i lacked self-confidence in my abilities so if you are trying to elevate your life and actually imagine yourself at that level that you picture you need to start working on your confidence level you need to wake up every morning and be a different person than you were yesterday you need to tell yourself that i am that girl i am that guy i can do anything i set my mind to especially through christ jesus because he is the only one that has made us perfect in ourselves 
that I have the ability to deliver on whatsoever is asked of me, that these hands are blessed. These hands are blessed. You actually have to wake up and physically shout it out to your ears, like say it out loud so that your ears can hear it. Don't internalize it. Don't, don't be like, mm, I'm thinking that, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm that girl. Yeah. No, 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 no. You have to feel it. The first few times will be awkward, especially if you start working on your affirmations. The first few times will be like, I don't know. I don't know if this thing is working, honestly. But when you actually come into a situation where you need to remind yourself that you are that girl, then those affirmations will pop up in your head or the things that you used to say out loud to yourself would you would remember them and you would be reminded about your ability and you also be reminded about the multiple times in the past that you have already forgotten in that instant that you have delivered and have been successful at this that's where your level of self increase will start to build from your sorry your level of self confidence will start to build from and that's how you realize that you know what I have definitely grown as a person. I'm not as shy or I'm not as, as timid or I'm not as cringy to myself as I used to be. And I um, whenever somebody tells me, hey, good job here, or um, I really liked this, this and this that you did, you, you would be like, oh, I appreciate that. Uh, thank you. Like, it would be like, this is actually a compliment coming from not that, oh, oh my goodness. I can't believe you're saying that. Thank you. <laughs> Not to say that that is wrong, but if we're trying to become that boss lady or boss man that we are trying to be, let's leave that. Let's leave that in our own selves, okay? Let's start thinking about that person that we envision ourselves to become. Now, the last reason, and I know you've come this far. The last reason that you aren't elevating in your life is because you don't want to. Because if you want something and you want to see it come to fruition for you, then you would have to be delusional enough to believe that you can do it, to set those goals, to believe that you can do it and actually get it done. If you wanted to, you would. You know how we always say, oh, if he wanted to, he would. If he wanted to buy me flowers, he would. If he wanted to do this, he would. If you wanted to up uplift yourself, if you wanted to elevate yourself, if you wanted to take yourself to the next level, then you would. Because you are so complacent and comfortable where you are is the reason why you're not seeing any increase in your life. You're not seeing any changes in your life. Is the reason why you're not elevating your life and the reason why you are still scrolling on social media, scrolling and seeing what other people are up to and how they are performing in their own areas of life and how they are elevating their own areas of life and judging them is the reason why you're just comfortably scrolling and scrolling and saying, oh my goodness, my life sucks, my life because you're not making any effort to do anything about it. So if you made the effort, you would see the results. So take the risk, be bold, be confident, stop procrastinating and actually commit to wanting better for yourself. And I promise you, you would see some changes. You, Even if it's marginal, there will be some improvement and some changes to your life. So that's my own two cents on on that i hope you've actually really enjoyed this video and if you stay to the end thank you so much for watching um i will keep up this series going because i want to continue to do this level up series with you because i just want to see you better i want to i want the best for you at this point i'm your big sister i want the best for you at this point and i want to see my community grow with me as much as i am growing on my own i hope you're able to take these tips and audit your life i hope that it's somewhat helpful to you and like i said you can always come back and watch it you can always let me know in the comments how it is that you're doing and what tip resonated with you um what are you trying to achieve in life like what goals do you have and what are you setting up for yourself to actually achieve those goals so let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share to that friend 
that that family member that you know is sitting in the corner lacking sitting in the corner just scrolling on their phones and not doing anything to change their life so share it with your friends and family and don't forget to follow me on my socials instagram tiktok i don't do snapchat youtube definitely subscribe and i will see you in my next video so thank you so much for watching bye